some breaking news coming in. Go first crisis continues. It has now alleged that there is a plot to kill the airline. Issues a statement on a grounding of the aircraft. Well, what we know that Go, Go, Go first is now saying that 65 out of 178 aircrafts have been grounded. It has uh, taken a name at the engine manufacturer. It has went on and said this is a deliberate attempt to kill uh, the Go First airline. My colleague Shweta is joining us live on the broadcast to give us details. Shweta, Go First Airlines crisis is continuing and at this point of time they have alleged that there is a plot to kill the airline uh, by uh, the engine manufacturer. Give us more details. Well, absolutely, Ruyanka. This is exclusive news, what we have got in Times Network and we are breaking down for our viewers. Firstly, what Go Air has returned. In the, um, in the statement, Go First uh, speaks about the deliberate attempt to kill Go First. What, this is the thing what they have alleged being the airline. And they have also stated in the statement, which has uh, they been circulated to the media, uh, they have said that Go First, firstly, they have uh, incurred huge financial losses due to grounded aircrafts and uh, there have been multiple efforts which were being made to engage with the uh, Pratt and Whitney which failed. Now talking about uh, Pratt and Whitney, uh, PW which we uh, know uh, so far is that uh, they are the uh, engine makers, the manufacturing unit you can call them in layman language, uh, the Airbus makers and here they have also stated some statistics, some data. Um, Riyanka is now talking about the data. The first thing what they have mentioned is the most affected region is India. Now in India, uh, they have said that 178 aircrafts is of uh, Pratt and Whitney, out of which 65 are grounded. And now talking about the fleet of uh, Go, uh, Go First itself, they have 54 aircrafts in their fleet and it's totally grounded. I mean 54 on 54, it's totally uh, grounded. No flights is being operational till uh, the 12th of May. Now here they've also stated that out of 60 global customers of uh, Pratt & Whitney, only four customers are facing severe issues and in four customers, two are from India. India. Uh, now, they have also stated that uh, this is a deliberate attempt to kill Go First. Talking about some more data, they have said that 15% of total Brat and Whitney GTF powered aircrafts, that's the engine what they are talking about, are grounded because of faulty engines. This is the another claim what uh, uh, Go First has been saying. And they have also stated that um, globally, if they see out of 178 aircrafts, uh, I beg your pardon, out of 1,219 aircrafts, 170 aircrafts have already been grounded. This is the data what they are showing of March 2023. Till March 2023, they are saying that 178 aircrafts have been grounded. Now, this goes very technical if I, if I tell you honestly what layman would understand or not. But uh, the most important thing for the viewers, for the uh, customers, the passengers, is that the refund of their money, what we are understanding that after the direction of uh, DGCA, uh, the airline have uh, initiated the process of refund, but not really sure, Riyanka, whether these refunds will be reaching to the uh, passengers in the, form of, uh, in the form of monetary or it is just credit because what we are also learning in many of the passengers have been claiming that the credit is being given, not exactly they are dealing in the monetary form. And um, uh, if we just speak about the Go First Airlines, very clearly they have also reached to the national company law tribunal and uh, it's been kept for Thursday as well. Uh, here we are seeing that the company is in severe loss at the same time passengers. It's a massive uh, setback for them as well. Absolutely, Shweta. Thank you for bringing us those details on that story. Let's leave